Hey guys, Dr. Chris here, and today in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the difference between referred pain from the spine and true sciatica. So in a referred pain problem, you can have pain in the, the right, left, center of your back, or even down your leg. But in a true sciatica, you're actually affecting that sciatic nerve that goes from L4 to S3. That's lumbar four to S3. And that is a web of nerves that goes down your glute, behind your knee, and then kind of towards the inside of the ankle. Now, again, on this hand of true sciatica, it's actually a little bit more rare and less common than people think it is. In order to have that problem, you have to have irritation of those said nerve roots. Those nerves are encased with a, um, by a sleeve and they can be subjected to irritation and inflammation. If that's the case, you're going to get some objectable, I'm sorry, objective changes that affect the nerve. Uh, you can get leg weakness, uh, change in reflex, change in sensation, change in nerve tension, like it doesn't move very well. Now, a lot of times people with that true sciatica, uh, they can't really move their hip in like this because it winds up that nerve that travels back here. And then a lot of times people will blame the hip because they're walking around with this painful gait pattern with uh, the right leg, let's just say it's the right leg, kind of turned out like that to slacken the nerve. So if you're having a true sciatica, you have to treat the root cause of it so that the nerve can glide through its, uh, through its content to the muscle and the fascia and all that. But what's really important is that we don't confuse a referred pain pattern with true sciatica. I hope this video helps you or someone you know. Please like, comment, and subscribe.